Food has a big pizza, my heart, but it's a place we spend a lot of money. So in today's episode, I'll show you how you can save money in your food budget. All right, today we're going to talk about one of my favorite things, food. Now, this is one of the best places that you can save money and use that money to pay off debt. So we're going to bring on Debt Kickin' Mom to show us how she feeds her family of six for only $125 a week. Yeah, that's right. And then my friend, Chef Marlon, will be on, who I love, and he is going to give us an amazing summer recipe that feeds a family of four for under $25. But you guys, listen, food is expensive, and this is a huge budget buster. In fact, here's what the average American family spends on groceries each month. So this doesn't include eating out at restaurants, just groceries. Now these ranges came from USDA, and there's lower ends, there's higher ends, and I saw the averages and I was like, what? So then I thought, I have to go into my Facebook community to figure out, okay, how much do they spend on food because they're killing it in like all areas. So it was fascinating comparing the two groups. Now, the single person in America spends anywhere from $165 to $330 a month in groceries. And in the Facebook community, they're spending $284. So good job, guys. Family of two on average is spending $388 to $769, but a family of two in our Facebook community is spending $346. $346. Great job. The average family of four in America is spending $650 to $1,294 a month in groceries, but the average family of four in the Facebook community is spending $545. Okay, if you're falling on the higher end of those numbers, listen, it's possible to cut back, and you're probably gonna wanna join the official Rachel Cruz Facebook community because they're gonna give you tips and encouragement along the way because they are obviously killing it. Now, that was just groceries, and groceries is not the only place we spend money on food, is it? We go out to eat, yes. I love going out to eat, I love restaurants. It's one of my love languages. Now, the average household in America spends $250 a month eating out at restaurants, but in my Facebook community, the average family only spends $150 a month, so good. Now listen, if you're in debt, this is a place, going out to eat, this is a place where you can cut back. Don't go out to eat. It's amazing what a couple of hundred dollars a month can do by just throwing it at your debt. You can get out of debt so much quicker. Now, if you're looking to make some real progress of getting out of debt, make sure you take Financial Peace University. The average family who goes through Financial Peace University pays off $5,300 in debt and saves $2,700 in just 90 days. That's an eight thousand dollar turnaround. It's incredible. Now, when you sign up, you're going to get access to Every Dollar Plus, which automatically tracks all of your expenses there in that fancy budget app. And it's really going to give you a reality check because when you click that little Every Dollar app on your phone, you're going to be able to track all of your expenses. And some of you guys don't even know what you're spending each month. So make sure to click the link in the show notes to find out more. All right, let's talk about my food budget. All right, it's important to remember that your food budget is not static, okay? It's going to reflect your life. For instance, the cruises, our family's growing. That's right, cruise baby number three, a little boy. He's on the way, we're so excited. But the stage of life we're in is Amelia is four, Caroline is two. And Caroline, sweet, sweet baby Caroline. We love her, but we don't love her at restaurants. No, she is terrible. So the last like three times we've been out to eat, Winston and I have looked at each other and we're like, what are we doing here? This is miserable. And half of us are like up and down from the table, taking her in and out because she won't sit in her high chair. I mean, it's just like, it's terrible. And then we're sitting there and we're having to tip a waiter and you're just spending extra money. You're just like, oh my gosh, this is not good. So our season of life right now, we are not going out to eat a lot. If we do go out to eat, we get food to go and bring it home. So it's good to realize, okay, what season are we in with kids? And also like the literal seasons. A lot of times people in the summer go out to eat more 
because you go out to eat with friends, maybe after work, you go hang out with your, you know, your friends at a restaurant or something. So just kind of know what your life looks like and your budget should reflect that. And you always need to be looking ahead. This is important. Like, do you have big trips coming up? What's happening? Your food budget is going to reflect your life. All right, up next is Debt Kickin' Mom, who you'll recall from a few episodes ago, was on with her husband, and they paid off $77,000 in debt. Now, she's back to show us how she feeds her family of six for only $125 a week, you guys. Like, that's amazing. Maybe as amazing as these mozzarella sticks. Take a look. We love finding new ways to save money. We lower categories in our budget, buy things on sale, and even use coupons. But we often forget about the biggest expense we have. And I'm talking about your mortgage. If you have been in your home for a while, there may be options available that can save you money, not just pocket change, but real money. The best way to get started and see what options you have is by the Churchill Checkup by Churchill Mortgage. A quick call with an expert home loan specialist can help you figure out what's best for you and discover incredible opportunities to save time and money. To get your Churchill Checkup, go to churchillmortgage.com slash churchill dash checkup. Okay, I'm so glad you're here. Yes! <laughs> because you are an expert. I really would. I would call you an expert when it comes to grocery shopping for That's a family. Sweet. Thank you. It's true <laughs> because you do it so well. So mm. tell me a little bit about you and your husband. You guys paid off $77,000 in oh, debt. Yeah. A big reason you did that is because you cut expenses. Yes. Like food. Yes. So what's like, how have you figured this out? And like, what's your, what's what's your, what, what are you all about? How are you doing this? Yeah. So I really honed in on the grocery budget because that was our biggest expense next to our mortgage. It was like, we were spending about $1,000 a month on groceries to feed Six mouths, so four children, me and my husband. Yep. The one of the one of the biggest things that changed everything for me was discovering Aldi, the grocery store Aldi, yes. was which we are not sponsored. <laughs> no. We'd be happy to be sponsored Aldi if you would like, but this yes. is not an Aldi sponsored segment. But the truth is the truth. So. The, it is, and and that's and that's the thing I think that some people don't realize that like you know just just changing where you shop yes. can save you Huge. so much money. You yes. know, so just. So and all that you figured out how to feed six mouths yes. a week for a hundred and twenty-five dollars. Oh yeah, a hundred and twenty-five yeah. dollars a week. Okay. Oh yeah. So walk me through. How do you do that? Yeah. So I kind of came up. I, you know, I didn't realize it was a method until I found myself kind of just doing it regularly. I realized that there's four steps in really saving the most money on groceries. The first thing is taking inventory of what you have. What do you have in the pantry? What do you have in the freezer? What do you have that needs to get eaten up? Yes. So taking inventory. That's huge. And yeah. part of that, because I'll speak totally, this is yeah. just my personal perception of life and how I view things, because <laughs> it's about being organized, too. Yes. Because I'm not the most organized person in the world. So when you open up my pantry, I hate to say it, yeah. I need I need to get bent. I need to, like, make it prettier so I yeah. can see everything. But I get stuff, gets just get stuffed. Yeah. And so I'll go by three cans of black beans for some Mexican thing I'm doing. And then I look, I'm like, oh, I had two yeah. there. So, you know, and not that it's like going to cost you an arm and a leg for a can of beans, but still it's things that I have yeah. and I just did not take inventory. Oh, so yeah. I think that that's a great point. So then after I take inventory, um, then I meal plan around my inventory. So making sure that we are planning our meals around the food that needs to get eaten up. that that Because we don't want it to go to waste. We don't want to have to throw that food away. Yes, so if there's, good. you know, you have a, an abundance of spinach and romaine, then plan some salads that you're going to have to be able to eat that up or plan, figure out a way to eat that up. Um, so meal planning around your inventory. That's step two. That's great. Yeah, and then from there creating your grocery list based off of that meal plan and then only buying the things at the grocery store that you need to complete your meal plan to be able to feed your family. So really, the grocery list is huge, but you're only making that grocery list on things that you need, and then you got to stick to it when you go to the grocery yes. store. But this is huge. Yeah. I do this. Yeah. And I like, I do. I make that yeah. list, and I've done good. I, it takes some practice. Yeah. But once you learn to be diligent with it, you're like, yeah, I, this is exactly what I need, and I'm good. And when you leave the grocery store, there's not this sense of like, oh my gosh, I totally busted the budget, or man, I just, I shouldn't have bought that, but I just felt this impulse too. 
It's yeah. all right there. It's kind of like your accountability partner it right is. there in your yeah. list. Oh, it's huge. You got to go in with a list. After I've done that, after I've really cre- uh, already meal planned and created my grocery list, then I will take a look at the sales ads and I'll figure out what's on sale. And then I'll kind of say, okay, well, maybe I can buy some meat that's on sale that I can stick in my freezer. Sure. And then the, when the next week comes around and I take inventory, that's part of my inventory that now I'll meal plan around, but I bought it at its lowest price. Yes. So yes. that's that's really to take ha- advantage of the sales, but you're take, doing it within reason. Within reason, yeah. yeah. That's great. And, you know, it's kind of, it's a little bit different perspective because a lot of times you hear people say that to save money on groceries, you should meal plan around the sales. But I found that a lot of times when I would focus on just what was on sale, I would either overbuy or my meal plan wasn't quite, quite right. And then I'd still end up throwing away oh, the things yeah. at home that didn't get eaten up in time. I'd still end up throwing away food. Obviously, when you're not throwing away as much food, you're not throwing away as much money Changes and everything. you're going to save money. Okay, yeah. so walk me through real quick, just like a few dinner, because dinner's the tough spot. Yeah. For at least, I'll say the cruises. Like yeah. breakfast, you can kind of get your oatmeal, you know, you can kind of get your basics. I agree. And lunch, somewhat. Dinners can be hard. So, mm-hmm. off the top of your head, not to put you on the spot too yeah. much, like name off just a couple of like really cheap dinners. That oh you my do. goodness. I mean, right off the top of my head, I can think of buying whole chickens at Aldi. They're about 95 to 97 cents per pound. Oh, wow. That's yeah. so much cheaper to buy a whole chicken. And then you have that whole chicken to work with. Um, so buying a whole chicken, you can cook it in the crock pot and put a little bit of teriyaki sauce on the side or barbecue sauce, depending on how you want to serve it. Um, boiling up some rice and then maybe some steamed broccoli or something. That makes a really easy dinner. You can do it very quickly. So good. Um, and then I like to um, use any of that leftover meat from that whole chicken. I can use that leftover meat to shred up that chicken and then you can make it into tacos, burritos, chicken noodle soup, chicken pot pie, um, chicken and rice. There's so many possibilities. Those are some of the like quick, easy no, meals that so are good. so super frugal. Well, and you're yeah. great because you post a lot of this. You have like a big Instagram following yeah. through your journey, Debt Kick and Mom. So so guys, weekly, you're talking about food. Mm-hmm. That's like your thing, your, be- your bread and butter, because she's so good at it, <laughs> about how to still be healthy, but you're doing it, again, with these great tips, but you're doing it on a budget, and yeah. you're saving money. So, girl, yeah. you're awesome. Thank you. Seriously, thank you so much. And I love, like this, all these bags, you guys, $125 for the week. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. inspired. Yeah. <laughs> good. <laughs> so great. Thanks so much for coming yeah, on. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. This was fun. Good. Thanks. Yes. Isn't she awesome? Seriously, I love how she took care of her family by really looking up their grocery budget. And if you haven't seen their story yet, I'll put a link in the show notes of this episode, so make sure to check it out. All right, another way that you guys need to take care of your family is with life insurance. I can't stress enough how important it is. This is an absolute must for everyone. I know it's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day, but we need to make sure that our family is taken care of now and in the future, and term life insurance does just that. We'll make sure that your family is taken care of financially if something happens. Term life insurance is really inexpensive. You can secure your family for a fraction of what it costs to get whole life insurance. And actually, half the population thinks term life insurance costs more than it does. Winston and I use Xander Insurance. Xander makes things super easy. They walk with you through every step of the process. They shop all the top carriers to find you the best rates and make sure what you get is what you need for your family. So go to xander.com to get a quote now. All right, keeping up with the food theme, up next is Marlon. I don't know if you remember him, but he came on last year, and he's a chef and a restaurant owner here in Nashville, and I wanted him to come back on and give us another great budget-friendly meal for the summer because, let's be honest, we love food and we love chicken, so take a look. Are you guys, it's summer time, which means grilling is here. So I brought my favorite man of summer, Marlon, back. Hello. Marlon, thanks for coming back on. Not a problem. Okay, it's been like a year, I guess, since mm-hmm. you've been back on the show. Yes, and you had a fantastic recipe for us last time. And I'm not going to lie, I loved you too, because you quoted my mom, Sharon Ramsey, without even knowing. Do you remember what the quote was? Just open up your spice cabinet. <laughs> So open up your spice cabinet. Uh, but Marlon is a master at the grill. So what are we gonna make today? We're gonna do some lemon pepper chicken wings and chicken legs. Yeah. With grilled vegetables, some pineapple. And if we think we have extra pineapple, like you might do some pineapple juice. 
we may or may not do some pineapple juice. So make sure to stick around for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, the one thing I do love about the summer, Marlon, is the food that you can make, especially on the grill. It feels like you can do it so budget friendly. Pretty much everything's budget friendly. You just gotta know what you're looking for, how many people you're feeding. Right. Just keep it simple. I love it. Okay, where are we gonna start? We'll do some vegetables. Okay. So we got some red onion. We got some zucchini. We got, we got some squash. squash. Yeah. Yes. Real simple vegetables. Just chop them up. Grill up real easy. Yes, yes. And then the onion. Just take it in. I love watching professional chefs chop. Is that weird? I always like to No, like, you can I'm learn like, a new trick or two. I know. And you're quick. Okay, so zucchini and squash for me, that's a good, I mean, like, that's something that we do a lot. I don't usually grill red onion. It's different. It's, it's, um, it's aromatic. It okay. opens up, it smells real good when you grill it or saute yes. it however you want to. Okay, okay. And you just take it, a little olive oil, real mm -hmm. simple. Spread it over. Do a little salt and pepper. Yes, yes. And then we're gonna jazz it up and just add a little, sprinkle some lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, but that smells really good already. On a grill, it smells, you sooner have your neighbors like, Hey, what's going on over there? Can I come? <laughs> You're like, no, listen. We got our budget. We know who we're feeding. You can't be interrupting my dinner. Oh, I love it. So there great. You go. That's good. Okay, next up. Next up, we got chicken legs and chicken wings. Okay. Just sit there. And this is super inexpensive. I think we bought like all of this for like under ten dollars. Like all this meat. You is... can find wings and legs cheap. Yes. Family packs yes. all day long. So good. Okay, some olive oil. Olive oil. Back a little to garlic our... herb yes. season if okay. you want to do that. Mm -hmm. I love seasoning. And back to the lemon pepper. Mm-hmm. Yum, 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 yum. And then we're going to jazz it up a little bit. Ooh, add a, what are we going to do, Marlon? What are we going to do? Right over the top. Nice. What's your favorite barbecue sauce that you can buy at the store? I'm a sweet baby raisin. Yeah. I'm not even going to lie to you. Marlon, have you opened up my fridge right now? I feel like we're like kindred spirits. <laughs> I feel like we're the same cook. <laughs> So okay, you got that so marinating. Good. I had this marinating overnight. It's best okay. to let meat marinate overnight so all the flavors. Okay, so silly in. question. Aluminum foil over it, stick in the fridge. That's yes. all you do. Okay. Let it sit there. Easy. Walk Easy. away. Beautiful. And then we got sliced pineapple. Okay, yes. We'll Easy. Go put that on Just the grill. Slice it there. Okay, perfect. So you got chicken wings, chicken legs, grilled Veggies, vegetables, fruit. And pineapple. Oh, love it. Start putting some stuff on the grill. Grill time. Chicken chicken. Everything's grilled. Mm -hmm. it smells so good. Okay, so chicken, you grilled it for about how about 20, 25 minutes okay. it's done. And then how long would you say it took the pineapples? Pineapple's probably about seven to ten minutes. Okay, veggies? Veggies the same about seven to ten minutes. Okay, perfect. So while it's on the grill, you guys, then you can make some pineapple juice. Homemade pineapple juice. So what you do? Dice up some pineapples. A whole pineapple. A whole pineapple. Okay, one big pineapple. One cup of water. Okay. Oh. And two good tablespoons of sugar. Mm -hmm. So easy. Very easy. Three ingredients. This is stuff you do, and people are like, what? You made yep. homemade pineapple juice? And you're like, yeah. Let it blend. After it's blended, you'll strain it. Yes. We already had some all ready to go. So gorgeous here. Marlon, did you buy these straws? I did. not <laughs> There was something I found in the cabinet. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So great. Here. Cheers. Cheers. Happy grilling. Happy summer. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, gosh. Put me on a Caribbean island. Good night. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Okay, so let's plate. We'll put some on our plates. Marlon. Grill and That's how you cook some chicken, because you have a chicken restaurant in Nashville. Have a fried chicken restaurant. Tell us about it. It's called Slow Burn Hot Chicken out of Madison, Tennessee. And we're known for hot chicken in Nashville, but his? I have 10 hot heat levels that can take you from no heat to you might want to call your doctor. <laughs> but it's worth it. It's but it's worth, worth it. it. Oh, that is so good. Marlon, thank you. Seriously, Anytime. so fun. So good, you guys. Okay, to get all these recipes, Click the link in the show notes. And the best part is you can feed a family of four all this stuff for under $25. So great. Arlen, thanks again. My pleasure. The best. Cheers. Happy summer. <laughs>
Oh, everything he made was seriously so good. Look at that dang pineapple juice. Oh, I'm loving this right now. So delicious. All right, you guys, I love this episode because food, it's a big deal in life and in your budget. So you have to keep tabs on your spending because it's so easy to get off track. I'm telling you, this is an area of your budget to pay attention to because you really can cut back. So thanks to Marlon for the great recipe and for Dad Kick and Mom for coming back again. And thank you guys for watching. Now, I'd love it if you subscribed to my channel and liked this video and be sure to check out my podcast for more tips and bonus episodes. All you have to do is search for The Rachel Cruz Show. And remember to take control of your money and create a life you love.